hello welcome back to my channel welcome back for another video i am so grateful that you clicked on this video thank you so much if you're new around here my name is sophie stein thank you for joining me i'm so excited to have you here and i'm genuinely so excited for this video because i have not filmed a favorites video in so long and they're some of my favorite videos to film so this video is going to be all of my current favorite things over the past month or several months that i've kind of like just been obsessed with lately. I've got some beauty favorites to share with you. I've got some Amazon favorites, some cozy favorites. I've got a wide selection of favorites to share with you that I'm really excited to talk about. By the way, I just wanna mention it now that every single thing that I mentioned in this video, if it is linkable, will be linked below in the description. So without further ado, let's just get into the video. I think I wanna start with my Amazon favorites because Amazon has been like my, my what's the word, kryptonite? Like my crutch, my like, true addiction and obsession throughout all of this pandemic. I have really been depending on Amazon to come through for me with the goods over the past however many months it's been. The, the world has been crazy and Amazon literally never disappoints. Like things just come so fast and it's like instant gratification that you just you love it, you know? So my very first Amazon favorite is actually something that I'm currently wearing. This really cozy, comfy, cute pink hoodie. It's a, obviously a zip up hoodie. It's just truly the best hoodie. Like I love it. It's just like a very basic, I think it's actually a men's hoodie. I got a size large because I really wanted it to be like oversized and slouchy and stuff. I actually learned about this hoodie from Emma Leger. She's like one of my favorite people to follow right now on YouTube and Instagram. She has this sweater in pink and gray. So I obviously had to buy it in pink and gray because it's just so good. This is the hoodie. <laughs> I do have shorts on under here. Don't you worry about that. I originally only bought the pink one because I didn't think I needed both of them. But after I got this and I've literally been wearing it so much, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna buy a gray one too because I know I'm gonna get the wear out of it. And it's so inexpensive. It's like $20 on Amazon and it comes really fast. So this is the gray one that I got. It's literally the exact same, same size, same everything. They actually have a ton of different colors, but these are the two that I got. And I love them and I'm very happy with them. Moving on to my next Amazon favorite and it is actually this phone case. I am obsessed with this phone case. It's so simple and inexpensive. I think it was like $12, maybe like eight or $12, I'm not sure. I like how the color of it actually matches my phone because I have the green iPhone. They do make it for, I think, multiple different iPhone sizes. I have the 11 Max Pro, 11 Pro Max. Before I had this one, I actually had another one that was pink, but from the exact same brand. They do like a ton of colors, um, but I love it and I love the texture of this. I am just really a big fan of this case and I cannot recommend it enough, especially if you're someone who drops your phone a lot. It has like more grip to it than most cases and you really can't beat the price. I think depending on the color that you get, it's between like eight and $12 for all of their cases. Are you ready for my next favorite? Because it's coming in hot. <laughs> Just give me a second. Oh no, I'm gonna mess up my hair. So you might think I look a little bit crazy, but I am obsessed with the sun hat. Since we got a boat, I realized that I really, really need proper sun protection, not only sunscreen, but also like a, like an actual physical barrier for, between me and the sun. Like I need my own personal shade at all times when I'm out because, okay, I'll take it off. I really do struggle. You can't really see it in the camera and with my makeup on, but I have a lot of like hyperpigmentation. I think that's what it's called. Um, a lot of like dark spots that are strictly from sun damage and from being out in the sun constantly with no sunscreen as a teenager which was really stupid of me. Um, so I'm very, very serious these days about protecting my skin from the sun. And now that we have a boat and we're gonna be like spending more time out in the sun on the lake, like all fall and winter pretty much because it's Florida and it's gonna be really nice. I figured I would invest in a nice little sun hat. The thing I love about this hat is you can like scrunch it up like crazy and it will just continue to keep its shape really well. Um, it's kind of floppy, so it's easy to like bunch it up and throw it in your purse. It's easy to travel with. You can't really mess it up, and I'm pretty sure it's like waterproof too, so it's just a great sturdy sun hat. And the back is this cute little bow. Isn't that cute? Also, the fact that it's flat in the back. It doesn't have like a brim on the back so that you can like lay down or, you know, rest your head against something comfortably. Honestly, whoever designed this hat is like kind of a genius. Um, but yeah, I got this on Amazon. I actually bought it as a pack of two because it was so cheap. It was like $20 for two hats or 
16 or something for one so i thought it'd be nice to have an extra one for whoever else wants one on the boat but the other hat that came with the pack of this one is like a sandy white color which i actually really like as well so anyway just very happy with my sun hat so had to tell you about it another sort of like summery sunshiny boat themed favorite are these two pairs of sunglasses i got from amazon I'm truly so impressed with the quality of these for the price. These were like $15 and these I think were 20. Okay, these are so cute. I love them. They're really huge, but that's what I love about them. They are supposed to be a dupe for the Celine, I think they're called butterfly sunglasses. They make me feel really fabulous, especially when I have like my black bathing suit on and I'm cruising on the boat. We love these. Um, I'm gonna be wearing these like for the rest of the year because i live in florida and it's pretty much always sunny except for the last couple weeks it's literally been raining all day every day i'm not complaining about it, honestly because i love cozy rainy weather but it's a lot okay these are the next excuse me i do find it a little bit difficult to find glasses that suit my face i don't think that i look like unbelievably amazing in these but they do look kind of cool and they come in a bunch of different varieties with different like lenses i got the brown lenses but they also have like you know black and blue and things um but i just think they look kind of cool and kind of like i don't know retro-ish they're very lightweight and comfortable on my face and i'm just a big fan so yeah highly recommend both of these pairs of sunglasses and you can get them on amazon for a very inexpensive price and also get them in like a day so amazing you really can't go wrong with these they will be linked below of course next amazon find that i have been loving lately are these silicone straws they come in this really cute little bag that just says sip sip and they come with a cleaner i believe this was a pack of 10 or 12 maybe 10 but they come in all these really cute colors like a baby pink blue navy blue and white um obviously not all of them are in here they're in my drawer over there i use these every single day and something about the experience of using a silicone straw versus like a metal straw is so much nicer i think it's because the metal like it's so hard and like clangs against your teeth and it clangs against the sides of the glass and it's like it's just not i don't know it's not nice <laughs> okay that was everything that i got from amazon so now let's move into my beauty favorites i have a few they're pretty much all skincare related actually this is the laneige lip sleeping mask i got the flavor of vanilla i can't express to you how much this has elevated my life like my lips have never been happier i put this on probably five times a day and not because i need it like not because like my lips are drying out or anything just because i love the feeling of it i love the sensation of it on my lips it is a lip sleeping mask but like i put it on before bed i put it on when i wake up i put it on after i put on lipstick i'll put it on top as like a gloss i put it on all the time i'd heard so many good things about this product for probably like years before i decided to buy it i just was really happy with the lip balm i had before which was the walita skin food which is also really good and probably a little bit more affordable but one day i ran out of all of my skin food lip balm and i thought you know what let's just try the laneige since everyone is hyping it up so much and i promise you it lives up to the hype if not better if you're looking for a good lip balm especially going into the fall winter season i think this is gonna be your best best friend i know it's already my best friend and i know that i'm gonna be using it like crazy i feel like people always say that this is so expensive i think it's like 22 or 24 dollars for this lip balm which maybe does sound expensive but honestly it's pretty big 0.70 ounces or 20 grams um and i've been using this for like i don't know at least a month maybe longer and i feel like it's gonna last me a really long time so i definitely think that the price is justified especially seeing as it is the most amazing luxurious just plumpy juicy <laughs> lip balm that i've ever used next up on my beauty favorites are the first aid beauty facial radiance pads these are a firm firm favorite i've actually been loving these for a couple years now and i just can tell a massive difference when i stop using them my face doesn't look as bright so i use these to help exfoliate tone and brighten my face um i think my favorite feature of these is the exfoliating power they really help my skin stay really really like baby soft and smooth all the time it's actually funny because i used to think that i was prone to having really dry skin because sometimes my makeup would just not go on smoothly it would look a bit patchy i would have like rough kind of dry patches in places and i thought that i just had dry skin but it turns out that all i needed to do was exfoliate regularly i went and got a facial from this amazing esthetician a few years ago and she was like actually i think that you just 
need to exfoliate more often because I wasn't exfoliating like ever. I would like randomly do a scrub maybe like once a month or something, but I didn't have like a normal exfoliating um, routine. So once she said that, I was like, okay, let me get something that's really gentle that I can do every day. And I found these and I'm so glad that I did. But they're actually a really good price and it lasts me two months per thingy because there's 60 pads in one and I use one per day. I really can't recommend these enough. They actually do exactly what it says on the tin. They exfoliate, tone, and brighten and my skin really loves them. So I feel like I've blabbered on a lot about those. <laughs> my third and final beauty favorite is actually my sunscreen that I have been obsessed with lately. I didn't think I could love a sunscreen as much as I love this one. It is the Elta MD UV Elements Broad Spectrum SPF 44, very specific. Um, moisturizing physical sunscreen with hyaluronic acid and it is water resistant for 40 minutes, which we love. My dermatologist actually recommended the sunscreen. He said that a tinted sunscreen is actually a lot more protective than regular sunscreen. I'm not exactly sure the science behind that, but it's great for me because I feel like a tinted sunscreen kind of acts as like a tinted moisturizer, obviously. It just kind of smooths out your face and it makes it look a little bit more even. So even on no makeup days, I'll still have on my sunscreen and it still gives your skin a little something to like make it look better. I wore this on the first weekend that we were on the lake. I didn't have a hat on all day. I didn't wear sunglasses all day. My eyes were literally sunburnt. My eyes were like bloodshot red for like two or three days after the weekend because I guess they just got burnt from the sun. That's my only explanation for that. I had no sunburn whatsoever on my face. Meanwhile, my back and shoulders got like crispy. It was disgusting um, because I just didn't put enough sunscreen on them all day. Typically, even if I have sunscreen on, if I spend any amount of time in the sun, like even 15, 20 minutes, I notice that my freckles get way darker and just I get like a lot more of my sun damage that's kind of like under the skin, like comes out and looks like makes my face look really blotchy and uneven um but i didn't have that at all which i was so impressed by because we were on the lake all day for like six or seven hours in the sun so i'm truly so impressed by this and i think this will be like my sunscreen for life i can't imagine a better sunscreen so yay i have two things on my favorites list that are from target that i've been really excited about lately the first one being this headband which is very very cute i'm not a headband person um, and I probably wouldn't wear it like this with my hair up like this, but I will insert a picture of how I wore it yesterday out to dinner. It is this very cute puffy plaid headband. Can you see? Is it gonna focus? Okay, there you go. It focuses if my face isn't in the frame. It's like black and white and brown. I really just thought it was the cutest headband for fall. And lately I've been wanting to like experiment more with like hair accessories. Also something very special about this headband is literally it weighs absolutely nothing and it's so comfortable on. I feel like I've never had a headband that didn't make like my ears hurt or give me a headache. And this one literally feels like nothing. So I really, really like this. Okay, moving on to pajamas. These I got at Target. If you saw the last vlog that I put up, which would have been my Target fall haul video, you would have already seen these. But I am obsessed with this pajama set. It comes with these cute little shorts. And then this top. I thought it was leopard print, but they say that it's tortoise print, apparently, on the Target website. Um, but anyway, they're very, very cute. I think that they're quite new at Target. And I feel like these will most likely sell out soon because... They're just really cute. I got them in a size small, and I don't know if you can see, it's really like shiny, soft, kind of like a satin, silky material. Um, and they're actually very, very comfortable. I'll insert a photo or a video of me actually wearing these so you can see what they look like on. But yeah, I just really love them. Next on my list are the coziest, best slippers in the world. These are Uggs. They are so cozy, and they're actually quite lightweight. I have another pair of Ugg slippers that I really, really love, and I've been wearing them for years, but they're a bit heavier. Like, the um, the sole of them is a lot thicker and heavier, so they just, I don't know, they're not as comfortable to wear around the house all day, but these are super lightweight and just soft, and they're actually quite breathable, I think, because normally my feet get, like, sweaty and gross in slippers, but they don't with these, and it's not like it's cold here. I'm in Florida. It's still, like, really hot outside. I would say they're definitely true to size. I'm normally, like, a set between a 7 and an 8, and I got a size 8, and they fit perfectly. They come in several different colors, but I got like the lightest color that they had, this really pretty beigey color. I know for a fact I'm gonna be wearing these every single day in the fall and winter, so I'm just happy that I, you know, treated myself and invested in some really cute, cozy Uggs. Next up on my favorites list are these blue light blocking glasses. 
I love them so much. They are from Key or Quay, however you want to say it. I try to remember to put these on every single night. Sometimes I forget, but when the sun sets, that's the time that I put these on. The point of blue light blocking glasses, just in case you don't know, is that they block the blue light that comes from your phone screens or from like fluorescent lighting or I don't know, any kind of lighting, I guess. The issue is that blue light signals your brain to think that it's daytime and that you should be awake. Um, so it kind of wakes up your brain whenever you have like blue light shooting into your eyeballs. So they just make it a little bit healthier for you to actually be looking at a screen at night. And I actually do feel like I notice a difference on the nights that I wear these. I get tired early because my body is more in tune with like the natural rhythms of the sun and I also just think it's like a nice winding down process to know like okay when the sun goes down I'm gonna put on my blue blockers and that also kind of signals just the routine of that signals like okay it's time to like wind down and chill out even if I'm still working a little bit or from on my phone it still is like chill time you know what I mean I find these incredibly helpful and useful and they really do make a difference for me. The last few favorites I wanna share with you are not necessarily tangible items, nothing I can like hold in my hands, but they are still things that are making such a positive, amazing impact in my life and that I've been enjoying so much over the past while. I have been obsessed with Audible lately. I've mentioned it in like the past, I don't know, two or three vlogs at least, but over the last few weeks, I've just been obsessed with it. I can't stop listening to books. Audible has seriously been my best friend over the past few weeks. I have been so into listening to audiobooks lately. I signed up for a free trial maybe like three weeks ago, two or three weeks ago, and it comes with two free credits. And then Audible Escapes is another thing that you can get a free trial to. And Audible Escape is mostly, I think, romance novels, um, but they're all free, like subscription-based. So you can listen to as many as you want, kind of like Netflix. Regular Audible, you have to like pay per credit, which is like per book but it still ends up being much cheaper than actually purchasing like a hard copy of a book. I just get through so many more books when I'm listening to them versus reading them because you can listen all day. You can listen when doing dishes, you can listen when you're driving, you can listen when you're cleaning, putting clothes away. Like you can just listen to audiobooks all day long, which is why it's so easy to get through them so fast. I've listened to three books within the last, like three and a half books within the last two weeks probably, which is crazy for me because normally it would take me like I don't know, five months or something to read that many books. I'm really slow with reading books. I feel like I'm lucky if I get through like one book a month usually if I'm just reading a book. So it's so nice to be able to get through multiple books within like a very short period of time. So far I have listened to Bright Side by Kim Holden, which was a redhead book club pick, which was really enjoyable, but I probably wouldn't have chose it to read like by myself, but it was still really good. I really enjoyed it. Then I listened to When We Believed in Mermaids, which was so good. I cannot recommend it enough if you like kind of mystery, a little bit of thriller. Thriller, not really, more just like a mystery, but also romance. It was such a good romance story and also such a good like sister relationship story. It was just amazing. I don't really wanna say what it's about because I feel like it'll just give everything away, but trust me, it's so, so, so good. It was like so juicy. I also listened to Verity, which was a very, very spooky book. Um, it's not actually that scary. It was just, it's definitely like a thriller, but not like a scary ghosty kind of thriller because I hate scary things. But this book was more just like suspense thriller versus like a scary, scary thriller, if you know what I mean. And it also was romance. So I really enjoyed it a lot. It was kind of rated R in some points. I actually had to fast forward a few minutes of the book because there were just some horrible, horrible things that they were explaining that this like evil woman did to her child. And I just, no, I had to skip past that. So I skipped past like the horrible parts because I just, why would I subject myself to listening to that? But overall, I really enjoyed the book and I feel like I was like on the edge of my seat the entire time I was listening. And now I am listening to Midnight Sun by Stephanie Meyer. And oh my gosh, it is taking me back to my high school days. Midnight Sun is Stephanie Meyer's newest book and it is basically just the Twilight book, but from Edward's perspective. And it is so good. The audiobook is like 20, for 25 hours long, which is crazy because all the other books I just mentioned to you were like between eight and 11 hours long. So it's a very lengthy book, but I am enjoying it so much. It's really bringing me back to my Twilight Stanhood days in high school when I was like the biggest fan ever. And something about the Twilight series just makes me feel really cozy and like nostalgic and gives me fall vibes. So I feel like it's the perfect book to listen to going into fall. I don't know, there's just something about Twilight that is just gives me all the cozy vibes and I cannot get enough of it right now. I cannot recommend Audible enough and I cannot recommend all of the books I just mentioned enough. The next untangible favorite that has literally become a part of who I am, a part of my soul, is the album Folklore by Taylor Swift. 
obviously came out in July, I believe, like the end of July. It has to be my favorite Taylor Swift album ever. And, and I'm like the biggest Taylor Swift fan. Her music and songwriting abilities are just obviously mind blowing. Everybody knows this, but this has to be her best work yet for me. I think it's just the most beautiful album and I can listen to it nonstop over and over and over and over and over again. And I have been doing that. So I just had to mention it because it's been like constantly in my head and constantly like in my home and in my car everywhere I go nonstop for like since it came out. I don't think I could choose a favorite song, but if I could choose like a top few songs, I would say in no particular order, Invisible String, August, Cardigan. And now that The Lakes is out, I feel like that's one of my favorites. Maybe just cause it's really new to me because it was like part of the deluxe album. But anyway, those are like some of my faves. But honestly, it, it feels wrong saying that because there's already so many other ones that are popping into my head, like Seven, Betty, The Last Great American Dynasty, the one literally every single song I'm obsessed with. I'm just a little bit addicted to folklore at the moment, so I had to include it in my current favorites, obviously. And my last favorite is literally just YouTube. It's you, it's YouTube, it's the subscribers, it's being on YouTube, it's everything about it. I have just fallen so in love with YouTube lately. I know I used to post videos way back in the day and then I kind of took a big break, but being back has just felt so good and it feels like a total fresh start. It might sound cheesy, but literally like, you the subscribers the viewers people that are watching this right now are my favorite thing i literally wish i could just hug every single one of you because i'm so grateful that you click subscribe i know that we have like quite a few new people around here and i'm like truly so honored and grateful that you chose to click on my videos and that you're enjoying my content and that you want to stick around it really means the world to me so i really am grateful for that just youtube in general i just i love you thank you so much. I also noticed today that I hit 500 subscribers, which is a very tiny number in the grand scheme of the YouTube world, but it means a lot to me. And the fact that I'm like seeing consistent growth is just making me so excited. And it does just feel like a little milestone that I really want to celebrate. I feel like when you celebrate the small milestones and like the little victories throughout your journey or your process, it really just helps make it more fun. So with that being said, to celebrate this little milestone and to express my gratitude to you guys, I wanted to do a little giveaway. It's nothing crazy, but I thought it would be fun to do a little Starbucks giveaway. I'm gonna do a $25 gift card to one of my subscribers. So to enter this giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. Leave a comment under this video and you can comment whatever you want. It doesn't have to be like about the giveaway. It can be about anything you want. And lastly, follow me on Instagram. I'll put my handle here, I think somewhere around here. And once you do those three things, you are entered to win the giveaway. You guys probably know by now how much I love Starbucks. So I thought I would share my love of Starbucks with you. I feel like I don't know anyone who doesn't like Starbucks. I'm literally so excited about this. I am just buzzing. I hope that's something that you guys are excited about and that you actually want to enter to win. I mean, I know I would because I am obsessed with Starbucks and I spend so much money at Starbucks that getting a gift card would just be amazing and i will of course be announcing the winner in my next vlog which will be up later this week i hope that you like this video thank you so much for watching i really really appreciate it if you have not subscribed yet of course please do subscribe enter to win the giveaway i already mentioned all those things if you like this kind of video give it a thumbs up because i'm happy to make videos like this all the time i could probably make it a monthly occurrence i feel like this is kind of an old school youtube video to do like people don't really do favorites anymore it used to be like a monthly thing and i kind of wish it would come back because i just am really nosy and like i love seeing what people are loving because it means i will probably love it too anyway i'm rambling again of course as usual but i hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day and i can't wait to see you in my next video very soon bye